Hello, my beautiful badgers. Messy Coder back again inside Unity. And you might recall that I was making Max Messi's ultimate character selector. And that was using Unity's original input system because I wanted to make it for, for pretty much anyone that had a copy of Unity would be able to get away with it. Silly me. Because Unity rolled out a new input system, but that's only working for 2019.1 and above. Anyone below that would still have to use the old one. And the old one has a lot of annoying things such as not allowing two different inputs at the same time for the buttons and stuff like that, which is really annoying. So if you wanted to have people select multiple buttons, different people co-op, well, you can't really do it. You've got to take turns the old fashioned way. And I didn't like that. So my solution was roll out my own input system. Well, it's not really my own input system. It's a messy hack of Unity's existing input system. But I tried to make it a little bit more flexible. Uh, and this is where I came up with. And I figured, you know what? Let's throw a couple of other things in there, such as the profile, save load, uh, and audio control, and roll it out as a mini asset. So it's like a mini asset uh, if those who, who didn't want Mux uh, and they just want some kind of input system and audio control and a save load profile system. And there we go. And you can actually grab most of the tutorials off my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the messy coder, uh, where you can learn how to make things like this. Scriptable object singleton. Oh, tried saying that 10 times fast. Scriptable object singleton or singleton scriptable object, whichever direction you want to take it from. Uh, and there's only one of these. Only one of these will exist in my project. It's like the Highlander. So over here, if I click so you can see it's create the profile manager uh, and when if I make another one and I run it it will tell me off I did have a logic in there where it deleted the other ones I thought it was a little bit aggressive so I took it out but nevertheless and this is the main profiles manager and in here it's a scriptable object but as we all love uh, scriptable objects one annoying thing is I could muck about with this as much as I want but once I turn off and stop playing my game I've lost all my changes so we've also got a little bit of funky script that will serialize all this nonsense and save it as a file on your computer. Uh, and that will be, uh, I'll show you in a second when you do it actually, it will be a fun. And also down here we've got the actual individual profiles, the saves themselves. And here's a little clear button if you, for me and the one I'm doing the test to clear it out. Here we've got, you can see that we've got the screen resolution details when we add those later. Up here, maximum number of players. You can customize that. You can make that much a high number if you want, but I just figured eight co-op people on one machine might be enough. So I'm just going to, for this example, put it down to six. Default number of players. How many players should start at the start? I've got it down to one. You can have that to whatever you want. You can have it at zero if you want. And they have to click start themselves to hop in. So down here, we've got the audio mixer. Remember that tutorial? Just taken from that tutorial, my beautiful badges. Go over onto YouTube and watch the video and you can learn how to do it yourselves. And here we've got the input settings. And this is a little bit of magic. I'm going to just lock this into place here. And if we go over and click on these, you'll notice that, let's unlock this one. They are little scriptable object events. And there's a load of fantastic tutorials. And there's one from Dapper Dino that I got the idea from and tweaked it a little bit. Uh, I have to be honest, um, what, I wouldn't agree entirely with the implementation of how he's done it uh, and has caused me a bit of problems. So I have modified it a little bit to suit my flavor. Uh, there's, other, there's other examples of scriptable object events out there as well. And it's a lot of fun. I suggest you pop over and have a play with it yourself. So these are my down... Uh, up, left, right, jump. These are the actual actions that you're having. But the controls themselves, if I go over here to 360 Windows, you'll see that we've got a 360 controller for Windows because, believe it or not, there's a difference between how the keys are mapped, the axes are mapped for uh, Windows, Linux and Mac. And here's a PS4. Thankfully, I think it's the same for everyone on the PS4. And if we pop over here, you can see that the D-pad down is actually the eight axes on a plate PS4. And here's a little drop down that you can just to help you filter. So you could use that later on in your, like if you wanted to filter only the PS4 ones. So I also added PS4 in front of them. You don't really need that because you could just use this input type filter if you want it. And this little dead zone here, this is like my sensitivity. So if it's below that, then it won't actually register that the axis has been pressed. Here we've got the negative values if it's a negative or positive. So down is eight negative while it's up on the d-pad is eight positive 
left is 7 negative and right is 7 positive. So that's a lot of fun. You can also tick this little box to invert the axes as well if you wanted to. Again, but that's up to you. We've got L2 and right and right two odd little things because they're both axes and buttons. So if you wanted to have a control over how hard you're pulling that trigger, you can use it as an axis. If you wanted to just be a binary on off, then you can use it as a button. It's a shame they don't do that for all of them, and they only decided to do that for the triggers. That's annoying. But nevertheless, I made a little method that simulates that for you for the other ones. So you've got a kind of messy simulated event system that uh, that picks up and says, you know what, is the axis uh, held down or have I done it and released it? So you can you can hook into that. That's a lot of fun. Over here we've got some presets. So I've got my keyboard over here, and I just have a preset saying up, down, left, right. And as you see, up arrow is the up action, down action goes to the down arrow. And this is just the key codes, and you can change those to whatever you want. Over here, presets for the PS4s. Here's the D-pad, the left stick, and the right stick. And as you can see, they're all shoved into this little default impact, input maps, so you can uh, find them easily inside, basically referring to this script, this list here. Say, so, hey, you in the list? Yeah, how you doing? Cool, I want to use you now. Yeah, that's cool, you can do it. So that, that's nice. Now if we click play, do 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 do. Have we got any music? Have we got any music? Yes, we do. This is music from Mama Music. We interviewed him on our live Twitch stream, orderw.twitch.tv slash Messy Goda. And he's actually said I'm allowed to stick his happy music in the bundle of Messi's Ultimate. Um, what should we call it? Messi's Ultimate um, Input Controller? MOOC? Messi's Ultimate. Uh, we need a better name. We need a better name. Let's think of a name. Hook me up on Discord. Think of a funky name for this asset. We're going to flog it. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it cheap to Twitch subscribers. Uh, an extra fiver if you're not a Twitch subscriber. Even though I don't get actually that, that Twitch subscriber money. Me do do. Hopefully it goes to Twitch. So uh, yes, I should do a Patreon, but I wouldn't know what to do on it. Uh, so here we're going to say test. And as you can see, now we've got a test in our list. Nothing's in here because it's not the active profile. Oh, but if I pop over to the folders and I go in now, you see there's an editor folder and inside there there's a profiles folder and inside there there's a test profile that we just created and the main profile for the manager. Oh, I hear you say, yes, oh indeed. Now if I go back in and click load, doo -doo -doo, you'll see that the active profile is now here. and joystick is minus one because we don't actually have one but if I use let's do up down left up on the keyboard down on the keyboard oh, smash straight into those little patches left wee and right it goes right now if I go and do keys and we change this to be W look at this timer let's wait for the timer to run out you can easily just change that variable there you go it went back to what it was so S A D. So now we've got WASD, and you see that saved them over here. Now if I pop back into the menu, click that, which is my, that's why I mapped the save button. You can map the save button wherever you want, but I've just put it there for the sake of it. And we're going to get out of that, and if I clear this, boom, clear, put that back down to zero, just to prove a point, click play. Let's see. Oh, it's remembered it, it's found it. Click load, and loaded it up with our saved key bindings. To prove it, it's up here in big words as well. But also, not only that, look at this assigned joystick. Let's do that and click that button and push a button on the joystick. Now it's assigned my second joystick, which is joystick one. Joystick zero being the first joystick. Now I can actually click on this and map the up. There you go. Let's go and over here. Or I could say, let's prove that works. I prove it works like you can see my hands. Madness. Whee! And um, let's now go over here. And I don't know why I did the... Why did I do the right stick for the left right and the left stick for the up down? That's crazy. So why did I do that? But I could change that to be left and right on the keyboard. And... It was bizarre. The control... The, the up down is on the joypad and the left right is on the keyboard. Ah! 
crazy. I haven't got it so it handles multiple ones for the same thing. You can do that yourself if you wanted. Um, you know, if you really wanted to do that, you can do that. Don't worry about it. But I haven't put that in. You just need to change it to be a list and then iterate through that list or array, however you wanted to do it. Or dictionary. But yeah, have fun. Do whatever you want. And if I click here, this, I, want to, I want to be two player. I know it should have been better. Like, click here to start player two or something. So click that. Player two gets spawned. And by default, player two is mapped because it took the second one in our bindings here, which is PS4 D pad. And he's got the next available joystick, which is zero. But you could change that to be a, you know, click, click any button, click start button on your joystick to join the game and then just hook into that method and automatically map the joystick. Uh, so if I now use the D-pad, it works. And if I go over here, I, I, first, first of all, I need my little simple thing, I click on him to activate him. You obviously, you do that a different way in your game, but this is just a, a demo. There's a method that says set who the current bloke is for the key here. And you'll see that it's joystick zero, D-pad, and if I click back onto this bloke, and he changes his keys, then he is, oh hang on, this bloke, he is joystick one, and he's using the PS4 left stick. That is it, on the on the control, the mapping, it's lovely jubbly, and if I want to show you what's inside the actual files, uh, we can you know, encrypt these, it should be, have them encrypted, but just so you can see inside them, the profiles manager has got, um, a JSON, basically loaded Jibber Jabber. You can copy and paste that into a website that would make it more readable for you. But you can get the gist. Don't try editing this, you're gonna bug it all up. Um, but you can see it. And over here, there's like what the test save profile looks like as well. That's lovely. Now, I can actually go in and delete this whole folder in there, this the whole messy folder. If I delete it and then clear from here, then it will start again from fresh. Last but not least, I want to show off the audio stuff that we've got with this. So if I click over here on audio, and I'm going to use my little magic slider, I'm going to slide down the master volume down. You can see this master volume has gone down. And if I put down the music volume, put back up the master one. You can still hear it. So it's, it's using that lesson that we learned over on YouTube, the tutorial that I did for controlling audio. It's that one, but we've embedded it into here over. Actually, you can see that this profile is based off the entire tutorial, really. It's the basis of that. So all you've got to do is follow my tutorials if you want to work out how to do all this shenanigans. And if you had any effects, then sliding that down would make a difference, but we don't have any effects playing. And if I click cancel, Puts them back, puts me back in here. If I go back into audio, we're gonna just put the music down to the bottom here, click apply, and then go back in. And you'll see that it's kept them, and over here you can even see where they are. So isn't that lovely? It is lovely. Oh, and actually, if you want to play about even more, add more channels and more channels and more channels, you can quite easily, and you can just increase this number as well to how many channels that you want to be putting in there. A lot of fun, a lot of fun and games for you to be playing around with, with all your beautiful friends. So we're gonna be, um, gonna actually be making this as a asset. I'm gonna go packaging it together, playing about. We're gonna throw in some demos as well. Have a little bit of fun with it. Hopefully you can make something. And I've got a, 360 controller I'll try to put the mapping on and I've got my PS4 controller but I don't actually have any other types of controllers unfortunately but if you've got them and you want to share them the mapping you can always do that because they're scriptable objects the files so you can actually make them in the editor and share the little presence with your friends so that's it for this video this is M M Messi's ultimate input manager MIM MIM MUM let's call it MUM I think mum sounds nicer. So it is pronounced mum, spelt mwim. But mwim just sounds naughty. Have you seen Messi's mwim? Oh, oh no. Keep that off the bus. So, if you don't like these videos, click on that big juicy red subscribe button. Comment down below. And hopefully, I'll see you all very soon. Remember, stay home, stay safe, 
and keep coding. If you do like it, click it. Till next time, whee! If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.